Well, a mess it is. What I'm going to say is Jim Rutherford, in his press conference on Monday, had his first accurate assessment, which was of himself and what a poor job he's done. And it has been a poor job. Everybody in hockey that was paying attention knew what the problem with the Vancouver Canucks was, and it was the construction of the blue line. They had a number one goaltender, a number one defenseman, lots of firepower up front, but they were never going to be a contender until they improved the blue line. And they failed at it time and time and time again while signing other forwards, signing forwards to long-term contracts and leaving the biggest problem, the biggest hole in their lineup unsolved. And now it's come as no surprise that the Vancouver Canucks are struggling mightily on the ice. And so now the attention turns to Bruce Boudreaux. Well, Bruce Boudreaux in 100 games coaching the Vancouver Canucks has won 50 games. When he took over last season, he reestablished a spirit in the team, a faith in the fan base that now what's happened is that faith is gone. And the way they have treated Bruce Boudreaux, in my opinion, has been unacceptable. Listen, as a president of hockey operations, you can choose whatever coach you want. They've left Bruce twisting and turning since last spring after everything he did. And now, oh, we're talking to other coaches. He's our coach for now. I can only say this. The mess on the ice is only matched by the mess off the ice. And off the ice has been a major problem. Signing long-term contracts. JT Miller didn't need to be signed. He had another year on his contract. The defense construction is still their biggest problem. And to say now you thought it was minor surgery and you're going to major surgery, this is a massive, massive issue for the Vancouver Canucks. And quite frankly, you look at what Jim Rutherford has done with this team, it has been so much a failing grade. And the question really becomes, is he the right guy to carry the rebuild, the retool, whatever he wants to call it forth? Because I can tell you this, the Canuck buck stops at Jim Rutherford's desk.